everybody, Nerdikins. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdikins Inc. And today's manga Nerdikin live reaction video is going to be for Kenken Omega Chapter 214. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, last chapter we learned about the Wo Wing um, Massacre and what went down with Mukaku and his connection to the worm. And we found out, like, what was going on in the basement. And we got confirmation um, that Ryuki is the last clone of... Um, of the connector. Are we surprised by this? No. Is it good to get the confirmation of this? Yes. I'm glad that, that it's all out in the universe. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled, Give Me Back! Knock it off! Let me go! I'm gonna kill him if it's the last thing I do! Koka, you ain't gonna do shit! If anything, is gonna kill you, and actually, if he does kill you, Let's be real. The fandom will fucking rejoice, because I think the majority of the fandom hates Koga. <laughs> he's a Gary Stu. Basically, he's what a Gary Stu is, and I came up with this when I was covering Blue Lock the other day, is he is a, um, basically a big ma- he's, no, he is a, um, 39 cent cheeseburger from McDonald's acting like a quarter pounder, or we can go with the 29 cent hamburger acting like a, a Big Mac. One of those two. I kind of like the um, the 29 cent hamburger acting like a Big Mac more than the 39 cent cheeseburger. <laughs> God, I feel so old because I remember those days of when um, McDonald's had... Uh, the 39 cent uh, cheeseburgers and 29 cent hamburgers. It, they were like every Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah, it was every Wednesday they had that special. Oh my god, I feel so fucking old. <laughs> god, McDonald's, you need to, first of all, McDonald's, you need to make your burgers taste better. The burgers, I, I can't, I don't even eat McDonald's no more. But your, the last time I think I ate a McDonald's burger, I remember it tasting like shit. McDonald's, your burgers taste like shit. Seriously. Goddamn. But, yeah, you ain't shit. You ain't shit, Koga. You just a 29 cent hamburger. Yeah, especially in this case. Koga is a 29 cent hamburger. At least, as I would say, Asagi is like a 39 cent cheeseburger in terms of, like, comparison. But anyways. Forget it. He's not worth it. No! Let him go! Let him go! Let him die! Yeah, you got that right. I ain't even worth killing. My history's a lie and the gal style is bunk. The Nico style that you love so much turned out to be a total sham. Fuck you! Don't listen to him. What? Don't listen to him? I'm not letting the son of a bitch go. Not after what he did to Ryuki. Hey, don't push yourself. You need to rest. Um, I'm fine. Thanks, Samuro. Grand <gasps> Ooh. Grandpa, dude, look how sunken in Ryuki looks. I wish he looked a little bit... I, my only issue is with the, uh, the torso. The arms look so good. The face... Yeah, a little bit with the cheeks. I'd say that too. But you've got the ribs, the chest look good, but like the lower stomach... Uh, the stomach is where I have an issue. But the legs, everything else looks good. Because I I really have a problem with the stomach in particular and the face. Because we've seen Ryuki look malnourished before and it looked gorgeous. I don't know why it doesn't look good here. But especially look at this. Look at this face. Grandpa, were you just using me? Huh? Why else would I keep you around? The only reason you're still alive today is because you're the clone of the Connector. That piece of shit wants you back no matter what. Then, then again, I find it hard to believe how, um, how can a weakling like you be one of his clones, huh? What a failure the last clone turned out to be. Motherfucker! I understand, you're not my grandpa anymore. <laughs> well, 
found out you found what you came for. Are you gonna stick around a bully and old man who's not resisting? Get lost. Dude, I'm surprised you didn't say shit to Oma. Like, cause Oma is one of the clones too. Like, you think he would have, Mukaku would have, like, come after Oma, and I'm surprised he didn't say about how Oma, if I, I remember correctly, he didn't say how Oma was one of, um, one of the other clones, uh, protégés, but, like, I would have liked to seen his reaction to what, like, the other Nico did to Oma. I want to see more of that, but whatever. Grab my shoulder, Ryuki. I asked Grandpa if the things I'd done were right. Then he punched me out of nowhere, and, and when I woke up, I was down there. He's insane. Even if he kills the connector, it's not like they'll destroy the worm. They'll kill him sooner or later. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because they would probably just create another clone. His sanity aside, and sanity aside, um, translators, you need to fix that. There's a typo. At least we know that Mukaku's plan was to enter Ryuki into the Kengen Association and lure out the connector. That was actually kind of smart. What he hadn't accounted for was that the Kengen Association had banned killing. That made Ryuki start to have doubts about killing. Well, actually, it did lure out the worm, though. That was that helped. So we imprisoned him to re-educate him? Most likely. He sure was crazy. You're right, after what he did to um, his students in Ryuki. Yeah. Koga, um, don't, Koga, don't let the things he said get to you. His Nico style's not like ours. My Nico style was elevated to a martial art by my master. Yep. What happens to the Nico style from now on is up to you. Don't listen to what Mukaku said. See, I like the way Oma's was thinking. That's, because, look at what his master, you know, one of the other Nico, the, one of the other Takeda Nikos did. He took what he learned from Mukaku and made it his own and passed it down um, and changed it, you know, into the Nico style and developed his own Nico style and then passed it down to Oma and then Oma took it and made it his own. And hell, look at what Ryuki did. Ryuki took um, uh, what um, Setsuna taught him and made it his own. I feel like if Oma trained Ryuki, he would do the same thing. He would combine it with the Gao style and, um, and with, you know, with Setsuna's, uh, style and, like, combine it and make it his own. Koga just doesn't do that, and that irritates the hell out of me. You too, Ryuki. What happens to, uh, the Gao style now is up to you. See? We'll catch up later, and we need to get out of here. There are already skirmishes breaking out in the area. Ooh, look at that shit. You're right, I want to get away from here. Is that because of Mukaku? I've seen plenty of uh, strong guys in my time, but I've never seen anyone like that. Everything that came out of his mouth was hot air. He was one hell of a con man. He called himself a fraud, but his power was unfathomable. It's not just that he's strong. I don't want anything to do with him anymore. I don't know about this connector, but that old man's a monster in human form. Oh god, he is. Remember what Mofo said about Mukaku. They they know. The other stories we heard about Mukaku, they, they are true. Hey. Oh, 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 here we go. Hey, haven't seen you in 80 years. Gal Mukaku. I need you to give me back. Ooh, ooh. You nitwit, you're too late. I got rid of your clone a long time ago. My condolences for lying. Lying? That's not the man, kind of man you were in my memories. You wouldn't get rid of a bargaining chip for no reason. You'd use any means to, at your disposal to survive. I remember you well. Back then, you used your comrades as shields just so you could survive. Oh, God, it's a scumbag. Honestly, I'm somewhat impressed by how attached to life you are. <laughs> Guess you really love me, huh? But now I'm the fraud founder of a phony martial art. But what's wrong with being a fraud? I don't give a damn who I am as long as I can kill you. <laughs> I love this, dude. No way. I don't understand. You know, these scripting con artists, I can see where you guys are coming from now. Because this man is a con artist. I don't think, it, I wouldn't say he's a grifter. Makaku not a grifter. He's a con artist. But like, I want to read 
what he said, uh, what he says again, because the motherfucking con artists, I wish they would just, I, I, I wonder if these con artists, no, these con artists aren't like this because they're a bunch of grifters. And you know what? I don't think, um, would you guys say Mukaku was chasing clout? That's a good question. Would you guys say Mukaku was chasing clout? I don't think so. I don't know if he was chasing clout. Based on what um, uh, Shenlong is saying, I don't think he was. Ch I don't think Mukaku was a cloud chaser either, because he was. He created a fraudulent martial art um, to just kill the, to to survive. But um, back then, you used your comrades as shields just so you could survive. Honestly, I'm somewhat impressed by how attached to life you are. <laughs> Guess you really love me, huh? Um, but now I'm the fraud founder of a phony martial art. What's wrong with being a fraud? I don't give a damn who I am as long as I can fucking kill you too. Look at his arms. Oh my god. Is that so? Then you're going to die as a fake. But dude, look at his arms, man. Dude. That phony martial art ended up being a legit martial art. It was like a happy accident. It was, but the thing is, though, this is why I can't say Mukaku is like a clout chasing con artist. He's definitely not a grifter. No way. He he's not a grifter. I don't think he's a clout chaser either. I think he's just a con artist, like a classic con artist, um, just trying to survive. He's just conning to survive. This is and. We don't have con artists like this no more. A lot of these motherfuckers, especially um, like uh, uh, Nick Fuentes, for example, or um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, what did I say, Kamala Harris, too? I'll include like Kamala Harris in the mix as well, because she's a fucking clout, uh, uh, she's a grifting, clout chasing, grifting con artist, too. Well, she, you know what? I would say Kamala Harris is kind of like Mukaku in a way because she was on her knees. She went on her knees to get to the top. So, uh, maybe. <laughs> but a lot of these motherfuckers, man, they're clout. Oh, Ian Miles Chong is another uh, clout chasing grifting con artist. But the thing is, though, you can, if you, like, know how shit works in this, uh, in this world, especially, like, how um how government works for example um especially like how u.s government works for example this is why uh, the government classes need to be taught well at least a little bit better in um the u.s education system you could tell when a motherfucker is a cloud chasing con artist or a, not not just that or a grifting cloud chasing con artist yeah key knows right key yeah Oh, Bernie Sanders, that's the other one I was thinking of, is Bernie Sanders. Well, Bernie Sanders to an extent. He, uh, Bernie Sanders used to, when he was younger, you could, I would say he was a little bit more, he wasn't as much of a con artist, but re more recently he became a cloud chase, a grifting cloud chasing con artist. Right, Kitty? Nancy Pelosi is definitely... Well, she's a Botox fill clout uh, chasing grifting Connors. You know what? A better one is actually a lot of this is a better one. All these feminists, these new wave um, uh, feminists, they are definitely clout chasing grifting con artists. They are. They are. Fucking bitches. They don't care about women. They do not. Anyways, I just had to put that out into the universe. But anyways, I'm very curious what you guys think of Lukaku in this situation and what you guys think of Shenlong. I really would like to get more insight on like um, Katahara's connection to um, uh, uh, to uh, Mukaku as well as the Wu. Um, the, um, the, or not the um, or the Curie's connection to, um, uh, uh, to, uh, um, 
Actually, yeah, I kind of want to say the Wu as well, like the like just the um, Kiri clan in general. I want to know what their connection is to Makaku as well. If they have, especially like the Westward faction, for example, if they have any ties to Makaku, I, I kind of want to see that. That would be very interesting. But I really want to, the other thing I do want to get the real story from is um, the other Tukita Nico. Oh God! I want to see. Speaking of, why is he not here? Why is it the connector here, and not the other Takeda Nico? Why? Why? He should be out of everyone. He should be here. Why is he not here? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Can Sing. Love what we're doing, and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more uh, Kenyan content. A few ways you could do that: donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.